At sunset, the views from the European Southern Observatory, located in Chile's Atacama Desert, are breathtaking. But it's at night when the deep darkness and unique atmospheric conditions of the Atacama turn these skies into heaven for astronomers. But at the Paranal Observatory, scientists probe the universe with giant telescopes. But at 2,600 meters above sea level and 150 kilometers from the city of Antofagasta, these starlit skies are being threatened by light pollution. We are in a very isolated place in, inside Chile, but uh, we can see still halos from uh, the cities, from the mines. So mm. it's, uh, it's, very, uh, it's very disturbing to see uh, all of these lights. From space, you can see just how contaminated by light our planet is becoming, making it more difficult to see the stars. Although Chile's government has introduced standards to significantly reduce street lighting in cities near observatories, cheap white LED lights are increasingly illuminating homes, store signs and billboards, especially in the cities of La Serena and Coquimbo. The impact is growing. It's well-known and measurable, so it's no longer a threat, it's a reality. It's happening at a time when astronomers like Fernando Selman believe they've never been closer to making the discovery of all time. The greatest adventure of humanity right now is happening here, okay? which is that we are looking for life in the universe. And that is happening right now here in the Atacama Desert. And for that, darkness is crucial. This exotic structure may look familiar. It was used as the location for the lair of the forces of evil in the James Bond film Quantum Solace. But in fact, the reason why it is practically underground is to keep light from leaking out at night from this Paraná's residence for some 150 astronomers and technicians. Northern Chile will house 70% of global astronomical infrastructure in less than five years, along with the world's largest telescope. But astronomers are sending out an SOS, warning that if mankind continues to over-illuminate the skies, we will lose the time-long ability to gaze and be guided by the stars.